As always, I'm Carl with Targets with Attitude, and I welcome to another one of my video rambles. Today I'm going to be looking at something of the, an exotic knife, so to speak. This one is from Russia. It is the Kisler, or Kessler Delta Tactical. And it's a rather nice little knife. I mean, it's set up with a Molly webbing, so you can attach it to your backpack or hang it on your belt, however you want it. Um, it's a very well designed sheath, so it doesn't, the knife is not going to sh fall out. Very sweet little blade design. About six inches of blade. A little over 11 inches overall. Uh, black Crichton handles with the uh, ABS underlay. Full tang. Nice thickness of the blade. I mean, that's... That's not... That's at least an eighth of an inch. Um, maybe three sixteenths of an inch. Not quite quarter but close um, as you can see right here on the back of the blade it says made in Russia uh, it's got nice little lanyard here it they say it's got a glass breaker on the end of the handle and you know the way the handle is designed you could break glass with it but I don't really see anything that I'd call a glass breaker on here on the other hand, you know, it's to each their own. Uh, the blade is AUS 8 stainless, so it's going to stand up just about anything you can throw at it. I feel almost like I should be out in the woods somewhere testing this baby out. And I might do a second video on that where I do exactly that. Um, it's relatively expensive. I'm currently selling it at gun shows for 120. It's got a suggested retail price of 149.95. Um, on the website, I managed to keep the price down to 109.95. Um, but it's still a lot more than most knives. So let's see how this little baby can. Handle everything throw at it in the standard series of tests and As I say this doesn't this just feels wrong. I'm definitely going to be doing a second video on this knife <coughs> When the weather warms up and right now it's too cold rainy to be tramping through the woods But we'll see what happens when close to spring so standard piece of paper and Not bad. Not bad at all. Of course, that, with a thick blade, that's sometimes hard to get through paper as easily as you'd like. Cardboard, on the other hand, I mean, yeah, the tip goes right through. Not any problem. You can get to cut it. Yeah. <laughs> Cardboard's not going to stop this baby. Not at all. Hand packaging. Seems wrong. I mean, a knife this big to open up hand packages. But it's our standard battery of tests. It is worth knowing, because who knows, maybe you will have to open up something that's hang packaged in the field. Maybe you forgot to open 
something up or maybe you had to buy it on your way to your camping campground or something like that and this is the only knife you've got to open it with so let's see yeah that's not going to be defeated by any hang packaging I know about air cord may have to cut some line to put up your tent or hang your hammock or what have you you know what that's a bit surprising it's not cutting the paracord very well at all there it goes but that's definitely surprising okay now see that time it went right through Small tiny loop. I don't know how well it will handle that considering the thickness of that tip, but uh, Yeah, it's pulling it out of my hand. I was afraid of that but still not too surprising Piece of wood and you know what instead of trying to carve We're going to do This. Well, considering uh, I was just batoning it with my hand, that went pretty deep, is didn't it? That's pretty impressive, right there. Yeah. Now I can hardly wait to take this baby out in the woods and see what it does. That'd be a lot of fun. So, let's hope it warms up soon. And in the meantime, um, yeah, it's just, let's face it, the Russians make some serious ass knives. And this is about as serious as you can get. Um, it was definitely designed for paramilitary style use or survival use, camping, hunting, what have you. It really feels great in the hand. It's really nicely balanced. Um, I'm wondering how well this thing throws. It feels like it would throw beautifully. But obviously I'm not going to be throwing things around in the middle of my living room. Um, <laughs> give my kids the wrong idea. Not good. But, but anyway. <coughs> let's see. The Kisler Delta Tactical. Very sweet knife. If you're willing to pay the price, it's worth every penny. Even if you're not willing to pay the price, it's still worth every penny. So, as always, I wish you luck. If you're interested in buying one, I've got a link right down here in the descriptions telling you where to go to get it. I hope you enjoy this little sh performance of mine. I hope you found out something a little interesting and useful. And as always, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Come on, subscribe. Support the channel. You know you'd want to. But I wish you luck. You take care. It sounds like my son's awake, so I'd better get him some breakfast. So take care. And as always, remember, if you want to do something, no matter how small it is, do it with attitude. See ya.